all right everybody how's it going uh welcome to my new channel um th so this channel is just gonna be kind of like for me uh just so it gives me something else to do other than uh gaming videos uh especially because i like doing vlog style type of stuff i also like gaming and all that that's what my main channel is for um, but sometimes I like to mix it up and do some different things, and that's what the, uh, this channel is going to be for me. Um, this is going to be to where I can help people do specific things um, instead of putting it on my main channel or my vlog channel or something like that. I'll just have this channel uh, specifically for that type of stuff. So tips and tricks, how to do this, this, that, and that, you know, all that type of stuff. So this channel isn't gonna necessarily be um on a schedule and it's not gonna have a specific i'm just gonna say a specific um reason to exist <laughs> i guess um it's just gonna be whatever i want to upload whenever i can whenever i want to upload i mean it'll it can go as far as i upload uh, a couple times a week, uh, a couple times a month. I'm, I don't think I'm going to do it to where it's a couple times a year. <laughs> but, um, like, every month, every other month, and, and at least a video. I, I want to try and do at least a video, uh, like, at least one video every month or every other month. So, I, my goal is to actually record <laughs> and shell out some content on this channel uh, when I'm not doing anything for my main channel because I do have videos and all that for my main channel um, and if you don't know my channel or who I am because if you uh, are just finding this channel um, I have a few other channels uh, my main channel is Captain Gaming 34 um, I make uh, gaming videos and all that type of stuff uh, the captain's log I believe that's the other channel name I don't know why I can't remember right now uh, but that's where I do my vlogs and all that stuff uh, and then Captain Gaming 34 is live streams those are where my VODs go up when I live stream over at Twitch which is Captain Gaming 34 all those links will be in the description down below um, <clears throat> but just to kind of give you guys an understanding on what this channel is actually going to be, um, it's it can go anywhere between how to do certain things on games, like how to mod certain things, uh, like Payday 2 or something like that. I heavily modded Payday 2 with, when I say heavily modded, I mean I added like a whole bunch of weapons and add-ons and all that stuff. So it could be like that, it could be installing mods on Minecraft, it can be like Skyrim or whatever game uh, GTA 5 like I said it could be really whatever um, and then it can go as far as uh, other things as in like um, shaving for example uh, and some people are gonna be like what do you mean um, so there are people like me that can't use cartridge razors or a specific type of razors in general like electric razors and all that stuff because I have sensitive skin Actually, you can kind of see here and here, my neck is broke out. And this is from one of the last times I shaved. Um, I used a cartridge razor uh, because I messed my neck up uh, badly and uh, from a different razor. And I, uh, I, I couldn't finish with that razor, so I had to finish with the cartridge razor. But my neck was so broke out. Um... So I have really sensitive skin on my neck and I get razor bumps and grown hairs very, very easily. Um, so I don't use cartridge razors anymore. So I switched to a straight razor for a while and um, it works very well. Uh, straight razors, uh, if you take care of them, sharpen them when they need it and uh, use a strop they they can last you a while and they're very good um, I actually need to get a new one because this 
This one, for some reason, isn't sharpening the way a straight razor is supposed to sharpen. So I'm going to be getting a new one fairly soon. And also, it's supposed to be Damascus steel. But as you can see, like right where my index finger is, if the camera would focus, um, you can see the steel. And I'm, I don't think Damascus is supposed to rub off like that. Um, so I, I have a feeling that this is fake Damascus, which that's okay. Because it still shaves and all that stuff uh, and does what it needs to. Um, so, I started off with straight razors uh, after using all kinds of different um, cartridge razors, electric razors, all that stuff. I've used different products on my face to try to actually figure out like what I can do to prevent this and stuff. And really, I haven't found anything. I used, uh, while I was using electric razors, I would use a, I think it was called electric shave or something like that. It was a kind of like a pre-shave type of thing that you would put on uh, before you use the electric razor. Um, but that didn't work. Uh, I've used a whole bunch of like aftershave lotions and all that stuff and a lot of that stuff never really works um, There's only a handful of things that's worked so far and I'll get into that in a few minutes um, so after I Finished up the straight razor I Started off with safety razors and This one is a butterfly open which means it opens from the top. I do have a blade in here already um but this is a safety razor. Uh, this one is actually by Viking Blade, Vikings Blade. This one is called the Emperor. And try to get it so you can see. Um, but I will use. I will. I'll put the links in the description of everything I talk about in this video. Um, and then the blade that's in here right now is Treat. It's platinum, super stainless. Uh, what I like about this razor is that there are numbers on here. Uh, the numbers. I'm trying to get it to where you guys can see the uh, what you can't right now. I'm I'm sorry. I'm really trying here. Yeah, there we go. So the numbers there. Um, all that is to actually, when you twist it, it lowers or raises the comb on this side or the flat side on that um, to show how much blade is exposed. Um, so like one to three is like for sensitive skin, five to I think seven is mild or uh, like a normal shave and then <clears throat> 8 to 10 that one goes up to um, is like extreme so it's like you get all the blade I don't really know how some of that works uh, I don't really go past 3 right now uh, because I want to first I want to get rid of this and I have been shaving even with this uh, these razor bumps and all that stuff but I'm very careful and I do take precaution uh, and sometimes I will split them open and actually get the ingrown hairs um, but <clears throat> they're starting to go away uh, but I found uh, a company called Parasso and they've been around since 1926 I believe and they are from Italy um, they're pretty good priced actually uh, the pre-shave and the shaving soap that I have by them was only like 24 bucks total or something like that um, so uh, they they actually do work pretty well um, when all this was actually just about gone uh, I used that stuff with my straight razor at the time uh, it actually wasn't this one. It wasn't this one. It was a one. It was one that I had before this uh, But there was rust on it. I was trying to get it off and I had
had it in uh, white vinegar and the blade cracked. And I actually read a bunch of stuff of how to get rust off of metal, especially knives and all that stuff. And just about everything said that you can use white vinegar. So I used that and the blade cracked. Uh, so I threw it away and got that, which I'm going to keep this, but I am going to be getting a different one because I need one that I know is actually going to stay sharp and will work the way I need it to. Um, now you don't need a straight razor. You don't need the shaving soaps. You don't need all that stuff, but a lot of that stuff actually kind of like makes shaving fun sometimes instead of just doing like a quick, you know, done, you know, um, sometimes if you have the time uh it's just good to kind of like uh they they call it like pampering yourself uh like doing uh like doing something fun you know and all that stuff so using stuff like pre-shaves um shaving soaps different kind of aftershaves and all that stuff it can be fun so that's why i started using the safety razor uh the first time i used one i actually messed up my neck pretty bad that is a reason for this. Um, I also didn't know what I was doing. I saw one video on it, and they and I didn't look up how to actually properly use one. Um, but now I do, and you, for some people that don't know about these, you don't want to put any pressure down. I just took out the blade. Um, you don't want to put any like pressure like you don't want to push you want to kind of like use the weight of the razor and just lightly lightly go um i've noticed that it really don't matter if you do short strokes or just regular long strokes i've done both and i really haven't noticed any type of difference um and especially like it wasn't just until recently where I started going against the grain uh, on my neck because I was afraid like I was going to push too hard. But when you actually get comfortable with shaving with the grain and all that stuff with the safety razor, just be careful and try going against the grain. Uh, because normally some people will do two or three passes. Sometimes you only need one pass. But if you go for a three pass, do or I'm sorry, a two pass, then do one against and, or sorry, one with, and then one against. Um, it will get easier the more you do it and the more you use it. Um, but it's just all a matter of practice. So that's why I started using those. Um, and I didn't use, use a safety razor for a couple months after I messed my neck up because I was afraid of using them, but don't be afraid of it. Just, you just got to remember, don't press down, just lay it against your face and just shave. Don't put any pressure down because you will cut yourself pretty bad. Now that's not to say that you're never going to get cuts or nicks or whatever, because you are. <laughs> um, it also depends on the blade. So the shaving kit that I got came with these Astra uh, Superior Platinum Blades. Um, and they actually work pretty nice. I like these. Uh, I actually only have... Oh. Out of the five, I have three left. Um, and then I did get this. This is a sample pack. Uh, again, I'll leave all the links in the description. Um... But there is a specific blade in here called Feather. It's a feather, feather blade. And from my understanding, those are the sharpest uh, double-edged safety razor blades that you can get. That's to my knowledge. I'm sure there are sharper, but as far as I know, the feather blades are the sharpest. Um, I forgot how many came in this pack. It was, it, it was singles, and I think it was 18 of them. And... I got that and I got a Allen block uh, now an Allen block is when you get like a cut or a nick or whatever you run it under cold water and you put it 
you rub the yellow block on the on your neck or wherever you have the cut even if you don't have a cut it's so good to use that because it it helps with uh, fighting irritation and all that stuff um, now I will mention though if you do have a cut or whatever it will sting <laughs> and depending on how many cuts you have it will burn <laughs> but uh, you leave it on for a couple minutes and then you rinse off um, I don't really do what most people what or I wouldn't say most people but a lot of people um, they shave after they shower I shave before uh, I have done shaving after showering a few times and I don't mind it but that's just not what I'm used to so I just shave after I or, uh, shave before I shower and then get on with my day but what I'll end up doing is because I use the animal block and you wash it off and all that stuff um, I'll put it on, leave it on for a few minutes, and I'll take my shower, wash my face really good. Uh, and then at the end of the shower, um, because it's actually good to rinse your face with cold water after you shave and all that, uh, I'll turn the shower on cold. I'll actually take a cold shower for like a minute or two, uh, because that's actually kind of good for your skin too. Um, so taking cold showers can have a few benefits. Um, <clears throat> skin and health benefits and all that stuff so I'll do it for like a minute or two and for the main reason is for my face and all that but yeah um, but that's probably what a lot of this content will be uh, shaving and reviewing shaving products and all that stuff um, especially like how to sharpen and strop safety razors um, except for this one if some people know about a couple movies especially a good uh, barber killing movie then you guys know what this is from and if you don't this is a uh, Sweeney Todd uh, straight razor from the movie um, Sweeney Todd the demon barber of Fleet Street and this isn't the, I think it's called NECA um, prop. This is a wet stone cutlery, I believe. Yeah, wet stone cutlery, cutlery replica. Um, you really can't use this for shaving <laughs> uh, unless you get it really, really sharp. But it is sharp enough to be kind of like a like a knife, like a pocket knife or something like that. Um, I don't really use it at all like right now I'm running my thumb against the blade my thumbs not getting cut so that just shows you how dull this actually is I've tried sharpening it a few times I've tried using it with a strop and all that and it doesn't really work out that well now if I did that with my straight razor or even one of my pocket knives even my dull pocket knife my thumb would get cut so that just shows you how dull that razor blade is <laughs> but yeah so um, Kind of like a in conclusion um i'm gonna be doing content as much as i can on this channel uh but if you're not new to this channel and you found this from one of my other channels thank you for joining me on this channel uh i don't really expect a lot of people to stick around on here um because this is just kind of like a uh, like a tips and tricks kind of um kind of channel uh, I'm probably gonna rename this channel too because right now it's just the gaming tips or gaming tips the captain's tips I think I might do it to where it's tips and reviews because I will definitely be doing reviews of uh, shaving soaps or mods or stuff like that so it's not gonna be specifically shaving even though that's what a majority of this video was about uh, it will be about gaming and all that stuff um, I just have to think about content what I want to do actually get it recorded when I have time because I have weird weird scheduling for certain things um, but yeah so if you guys enjoy this type of content uh, please subscribe and go check out my other uh, channels down below um, 
Also, if you go on this channel and you go on the tab that says channels, you will see my other uh, YouTube channels there as well. Um, so, yeah. So, thank you guys for coming. Uh, and hopefully some of you guys stick around for this journey, especially if I can actually help out some of you guys with certain mods or certain certain games uh, products in terms of like shaving or uh, stropping, honing, whatever. So I just really hope I can help some of you guys out because I needed help quite a while ago and I've watched a few different channels and I actually support uh, most of the channels that I've watched because I've they've helped me with certain things. So yeah. Anyway, thank you guys for watching. Go check out my other channels down below and go check out all the products that I talked about. Um, because I will. I pretty much talked about everything that I have in terms of like shaving and all that stuff. So I'll link everything that I've bought in the past couple months um, down below. So thank you guys for watching, hope you all enjoyed, and I'll see you all later.